Hello, I'm Nick Rossington, Director of Financial Services for the buy to -let Mortgage People. Today I'd like to discuss with you the, the importance of protection for mortgages. And when most people think of mortgages and think of protection, it's traditional to think, well, I've got a residential mortgage and for that residential mortgage, if anything should happen to me or my uh, spouse, then we need a life cover policy in place so that anything happens to one of us that the mortgage is paid off. That has also extended into critical illness, so if people have uh, certain critical illnesses, then there's, uh, if they have the necessary policy in place, then that mortgage will be paid off with a critical illness policy. People have tended to traditionally think of uh, protection as being for a residential mortgage, but what we are finding, and certainly what I'm recommending, is that for my clients who are building up a property portfolio, and whether that's one property, two or ten, their aim at the end of that, uh, as they're building their portfolio, is that they want to have an asset that they can pass on to either pass on to their family or give them an income during retirement. And really, a lot of people as they're building a portfolio are looking for financial freedom because they see property as a means of gaining financial freedom. Um, or it could be that they're just thinking with that one property, they just want to have one investment that's going to give them some income in retirement. Now, I think the importance for protecting these po po uh, properties with a life policy is, is of paramount importance. Um, I was with a client the other day who was actually building up a portfolio and his aim in 20 years time he wants to have a million pounds of property that he could eventually pass on to his family. Now if anything happened to him during that as he was building up his portfolio then he would leave his, his family with, with outstanding mortgages, he certainly wouldn't be leaving them with a million pounds once all the mortgages were paid off, and also the hassle of uh, maintaining those mortgages and sorting out all the, um, um, sorting out with all the lenders and the rates and changing mortgages over and you name it, all the, all the, all the struggles that uh, his spouse or family would have if anything happened to him. Um, but with a life policy in place, and life cover is relatively cheap, it's never been as cheap actually, it's a very cheap thing to put in place, but if his aim is to build up a portfolio worth a million pounds, then to have a million pounds of life policy in place means that if, as he's building up that portfolio, anything were to happen to him, then all those mortgages will be paid off. So the family would just have, um, um, have the properties that could be generating income without actually worried about the mortgages and worried about selling them and, uh, and not and not being able to gain from those properties what the original intention was. So I think it's really, really important now to protect the policies with life cover, or it could be that even for a critical illness cover, you may not want to protect the whole of the properties or the whole of the portfolio with critical illness cover because it's more expensive, but just having 20 or 30,000 pounds of critical illness cover means that if you are likely to have a critical illness, it just gives you that peace of mind to know that the mortgage is going to be paid for, you're not going to have to worry for income over a certain period of time and that before you get back on your feet and, uh, and decide what to do with the property. So very, very important in terms of financial planning is seeing the overall goal and what we do as, as financial planners is we help you source the properties, we find the mortgages for you, we help you find the tenants, but critically important in all that process is helping you protect because planning and protecting your portfolio um, is the only way you're really going to get the, the financial goals that you're aiming for and, and why take a risk when life cover is so cheap and just uh, talking to us and putting in that, uh, that, those policies in place will make sure that you have peace of mind and, uh, and can fulfil those financial dreams that you've got. Thank you, I'm Nick Rossington.